Hi everyone, what's up? My name is Laura, if you're new here. If you could please like and subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing, and let's get on to the video. Today marks 60 days that I am sober. I haven't had a sip of alcohol in 60 days, and I'm known to go very long periods without drinking just because I feel like it just doesn't fit in with my lifestyle, and um, I just can't stand like waking up and feeling the next day or waking up and just feeling lethargic and not productive and just not feeling my ultimate best so i'm the type of person that even one drink will affect me the next day whether it be like my brain fog or i just feel off or feel bloated so i really like to prioritize working out over drinking so if there's an opportunity to go to happy hour chances are that i'm choosing to go to a workout class that's just how i am i'm totally fine with making that decision. I'm known at work as the girl who chooses to work out over drinking, like going to happy hour and like being fun. And like, it's kind of a joke now at my office, which I'm fine with. Like, I think it's funny. It's just like, oh, Laura, Laura's not coming out. She's gotta go to 18 spin classes. And like, that's fine. Like, I don't even care. A lot of times FOMO doesn't bother me. I know that when I make the decision to better my body that I'm not going to be worried about what people think of me. I'm not gonna be worried about what I'm missing out on because I know at the end of the workout, those endorphins, much more of a addictive feeling than if I were to go out drinking. Always feel like I make the better decision by either saying no, just choosing not to drink in certain situations because yeah, I just feel like I prioritize working out over it. That's also not to say that I don't say yes sometimes. And I think it's important just to like not let people influence your decision. Like if you truly don't wanna do something or go somewhere, just don't, it's fine. No one's really judging you at the end of the day. Like they're not gonna remember when they're like drunk at the bar. One thing that has significantly changed in my alcohol intake over the past few months slash year is that I'm in a happy relationship that with someone who supports me and supports my endeavors and my just my goals and I think that's super important too is a good support system around you is definitely a good way to continue your sober journey or whatever it may be just surrounding yourself with good people and people that are only going to lift you higher finding friends that have things in common with you like i have a bunch of friends that work out with me or like will go and get coffee with me or just go for walks and like do sober activities instead of just going to a bar and like wasting time that way. I also think that you make really genuine connections that way. I have been trying to make more friends here in New York and I feel like going to a workout class is definitely like a good way to get to know somebody. Like you can talk before the class and there's no like clouded judgment of alcohol either. And I think that can also be used in dating as well. Like, I mean, alcohol is always gonna impair your judgment. Since being sober for 60 days now, I think most of the time I will do like 30 to 40 days here and there, but this time since quarantine, I just felt like there really isn't a need for me to be drinking. And at the beginning of quarantine, I will be honest, like every night I was drinking like one or two drinks, but even that I just felt like off the next day, I had like a slight headache, I just felt bloated and I just didn't like it. It was really becoming a routine every night. It wasn't necessary. so. The one night I remember I was drinking a glass of wine and then it like turned into three and I'm like, why am I doing this? Like I wouldn't even be doing this on a normal Wednesday night. Like just because we're in quarantine, does it doesn't give me the okay to just keep on drinking every night because on a normal Wednesday night, they would never do that. That's also like how I put it into perspective. I've noticed my eyes are much brighter. I've noticed my skin is clearer. I'm in less of a brain fog. I'm not as bloated. I wake up feeling energized. I also feel like I'm more patient and less agitated and just like able to think about like the smaller things in life that like bring me joy or just like not letting little things bother me and um, just like more calm overall and just not like frustrated easily as well. I ultimately just like feel like myself and it's like when you're drinking, it's almost like something changes in your brain. The only thing that I can say is like, I feel like the most self to my core and like to my true self. I don't know how to explain it. 
there's like, there's no facade. There's no worrying about like, if I should be acting a certain way or saying a certain thing. Like I don't have any worries about like, the way I come come across, I guess. I don't know if that's because I've had a lot of time to be alone with my thoughts and just like think about myself as a person. I don't know, I just feel so much clearer in my head and I've found time to do things and make a YouTube channel and wake up even earlier than normal to accomplish things and be more productive. I'm not shaming anyone who drinks, by the way. Like I love margaritas, I love like glasses of wine. I have through this time of like the 60 days, I have wanted a drink here and there, but I just kind of want to keep pushing it and pushing it and seeing like the more time that goes on, like how much better can I be and how much can I better myself throughout this. Also, when I was thinking about how I feel so much like myself, it's almost like ever messing up that pattern of being yourself because you're not, you're not like changing your brain chemistry. Am I even making sense? I don't even know, but, um, and it's not to say that I could break this tomorrow because I could if I want to, but I also don't want like to be tied down to being like, oh, it was 60 days. Like I can't have a drink type of thing, even though I kind of feel like that's where my mind is going. Obviously being in quarantine, I haven't experienced like the whole FOMO thing too bad because like no one's really doing anything. So I think it was a good time for me to like take this time to do this. So things that have helped me through this, like whenever I'm craving a drink or something or want it, I'm seeing like someone on Instagram like posting a really yummy margarita or something. I'll drink seltzers a lot, like the flavored seltzers are really great. I also like kombucha, which is like kind of controversial, I think, because apparently there's alcohol in it, but I don't think like it's enough. I'm excited to see how much longer I can go through this and see where it takes me. Depending on how many days I can go through this streak, I definitely like want to play play with this more and see how often I can do this and um, just see the overall benefits of it. And like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Like, I've definitely had some questionable experiences with drinking and overdoing it. So I think that was also just like a wake up call. I had mentioned in past videos of me going out drinking and like ordering a ton of food and just like wasting a ton of money and like that's another huge thing for me is like the waste of money that it is and like even buying alcohol for like to drink at home like you're just wasting money in my opinion the time that i spend sober it's like i'm removed from almost making excuses for the behavior when i was drinking a lot of times like i think when you're drinking, everyone makes excuses for certain behavior and like, oh, well, haha, like she was drunk, it's fine. Like, it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. Like, basically everything can slide just because you were drunk and like, that's not okay. Actually owning up for your actions when you're drinking, it's like not being able to control your actions either is like not something that I really love. Especially in college too, like, I think it's like more funny of like certain things like, with drinking involved and the older that I get, it just makes me realize that like, that's like not acceptable anymore. I feel like alcohol really adds more problems to my life than it brings joy. Like if anyone from college is watching this, they're probably like, what? Like, no way. But yeah, um, I was also always known for the girl that was like always ordering pizza. So like, I guess I lived up to that even when I moved to New York, but like, I can't anymore. <laughs> like, this is not my video to be like the end all be all because I'm sure I will be drinking this summer and like every now and then enjoying it. But for now, I think it's good to take a break from it and just see how I'm feeling and test it out. Like there's no harm in it. Another thing for me is the wasted calories. Even like a shot of vodka is a hundred calories. So like if you're having like three drinks, that's 300 calories right there. Also like even White Claws are a hundred calories when you could be drinking a seltzer that's zero. Sorry if this video was super all over the place. I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out there. And obviously I know that like 60 days isn't a big deal, but like I feel like it is a significant amount of time for me to notice a difference and change of how I'm feeling. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's always linked down below. It's just my first and last name and I'll see you next time. Bye.